And this is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. And today I'm going to show you how to have infinite storage on any ship in Starfield. Let's get to it. All right, before we get into how to do this, I got a quick word of warning for you. Pay attention and watch this entire video. If you do not, you can lose an astronomical amount of items. During my testing of this to figure out the ins and outs of how it works, at one point I lost just under a thousand mass of items by making a critical mistake. But don't worry, I figured out exactly how to prevent that from happening and what you can and cannot do using this technique. So when you make a change to your ship, any change at all that involves you having to accept said change, whether that change costs you money or not, it takes anything and everything that is throughout your ship and shoves it into the cargo hold. It gives you a warning that it's doing this, but it also gives you this warning when you're switching ships. So so at first glance, you may not pay much attention to it. I edit and change ships a lot, and I first noticed this was happening when I started seeing tons of miscellaneous items in my storage, and I was constantly selling them off, and then they would just be back there, and I was like, what the heck is going on? So the easiest way to take advantage of this is to go into the ship builder, select one of the companion ways that has the variation for the storeroom, and just switch it to the storeroom or the the companion way, whichever one it is not, and then accept the change. When you do this, it triggers this to happen and anything that is throughout your ship will get shoved into the cargo hold. And because you are only changing the variation of the item, it doesn't charge you any money to do this. This essentially allows you infinite ship storage so that whenever you want to go and craft anything, you can craft directly from your ship storage. However, there are a few caveats to doing this because if you do it wrong, you can end up losing a ton of resources. So anything that is a single item, so for example, weapons, spacesuit pieces, anything that doesn't stack, you can just find a room in your ship and throw all of that stuff on the ground. When you go to make a change to your ship to swap the companion way, as I stated before, to the storeroom or vice versa, and then save it, it will pick all of that stuff up off the floor and shove it into your cargo hold, no matter how full your cargo hold is. Is. But if you do this with resources and you have high stacks of resources, you won't get all of the resources. I don't know why this is, but I tested this over and over again, testing it in different rooms, different ways, different resources. If it stacks and you throw it on the ground and that algorithm or code kicks in to shove all of that stuff into your storage and your storage is full, you will lose a large amount of those resources. You will still get the those resources put in your inventory or in your storage. So for example, if you have a hundred aluminum, you will still have some aluminum in your storage when you go to check it, but it won't be the full stack. It'll be like two, three, five, something like that. I tested this with a large variety of resources, doing the math on the weights before and after on my storage, and I lost just under a thousand mass doing this. So yeah, do not throw any resources on the floor. But Firespark, you said this this was infinite storage. It is. There is a workaround for this. If you put those stacks into any container, you will get 100% of those resources then shoved into your cargo hold. And there are a couple of different containers that we can use to do this. First off, we have the captain's locker. This is standard on every ship and it has a mass of 40. It's not a lot, but 40 is a decent amount of weight for lower tier resources. Some of the higher tier resources resources weigh a lot more and you won't be able to fit as many of them in here. Then we also have the little storage boxes that you can find in some random modules. They only hold 10, which isn't a whole lot, but any extra storage that we can find is always a good thing. And last but not least, we have the absolute best option, which is the large storage crate. These have a mass of 150, which is a significant amount of resources that you can shove into these. Now, I've seen these on a bunch of different ships I've stolen but I never looked to see specifically which different modules they show up in, although I do know that they can show up in more than the module that I'm going to tell you about. And the module that I know they show up in and that I use frequently is the Nova Galactic Captain's Quarters. This is guaranteed to have one of these crates in it. So you can put more than one of these Captain's Quarters on your ship to hold even more of your resources until you get a chance to shove them into your 
are overfilled cargo hold. Because these hold 150 each, even putting two of these modules onto your ship will give you 300 additional storage that you can put resources in, which is a pretty significant amount. And if you plan on making use of this technique, I highly recommend doing this. And one last thing I want to comment on here before we wrap up is that you can switch the variation of any module on your ship in order to initiate this. The reason I suggest the companion ways is because it really doesn't make a difference whether it's the companion way or the storage room. They're pretty much the exact same. If you're making use of something like a workshop and you swap that to its next variation, then you have to accept that and then go back into the ship builder, switch back to the workshop and accept that again. Where if you use a companion way, you can just swap it to the storeroom or vice versa, accept and then go on about your business until the next time you need to do this again. And then you just swap it to the other one because it doesn't really matter. It just saves you on a bunch of extra button clicking. And that is pretty much it for this one. Hopefully you found this video helpful and informational. If you did, consider hitting the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified when I upload other Starfield videos. And if you're looking for some more Starfield content, you can find a link to another one of my videos on the screen right now. I want to give an absolute massive shout out and thank you to all of my channel supporters for helping to keep these videos a sponsor free. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to become an official channel supporter, check out the links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.